Okay, so Dean, an interesting subject that we've discussed in length, and it's also something that we've tried to implement throughout all the clubs that we've worked with and helped throughout the US, and it's the emphasis on allowing players during the early stages of development to experience each position on the field and not pigeonholing them just in one position. So my question to you is, what is the stance of Manchester United and what's your personal belief on that rotation in, in positions? Well, my personal belief to start with is a player who plays in one position will always become a limited player, especially as a young, a, a young age. It's imperative that all young players play in every position. Maybe not goalkeeper, but a lot of sure. players even want to play in goal. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and the reason for them playing in every position is the learning opportunities that it creates. The challenges, the different challenges that they have to they have to overcome. Sure. And um, for me, you know, if I every single training session, let alone game, yeah, yeah. we we have an emphasis at the club that they get they have to change, they move around. You know, we might rotate them all at the back. Right. Okay, then after two periods we rotate the back into midfield, the midfield to strikers, strikers back to the back. And and they'll learn different elements of the game. So 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 like for example if, if if you're playing against another academy side, let's say you're playing against Liverpool or Manchester City, then what you've got to do is a player starts the game maybe on the left side of defence, but they could easily be playing striker maybe 15 or 20 minutes later, yeah, and then yeah. in the second half maybe playing midfield. So they're learning all the positions in those environments. If we are at a developmental phase, and we are a developmental programme, but a developmental phase of the season, yeah. whoever we play could be Barcelona in a tournament, Slightly different, but Liverpool, Everton, our normal, our normal team, and we will play. Uh, for example, last season, you know, we, we split all our players up into three different groups. Yeah. And each group, each team played. For example, Everton. Yeah. And when we played Everton during those games, each player rotated every period. Right. So the, the result was the result wasn't important. Right. It was the development of the individual players. Yeah. And therefore, the development of the sections in the team. Yeah. And obviously, the development of the team as a whole. Right. We are we emphasise the individual. We are developing players, yeah. not teams at a young age. So, it's so, so the emphasis on individual development. You're looking to let them understand all the facets of the game, different positions. Yeah. You know, and, and, and I suppose when we talk about different phases, developmental phase, competitive phase. You know, obviously there's nothing wrong at certain times allowing players to go into those strong positions where they're strong. But I think the problem that we're faced with here in the US is so many clubs are continually in a competitive phase. Yeah, yeah. So they're traveling around, they're going to tournaments all year round and kids are just stuck in these single okay, positions and, they're, they're, and, they're, and they're locked in them for, for a year, maybe two, sometimes even you see, three or four. That's the problem with young with young players. If competition if competition is and, and winning is the main objective, they will always play the the players in the best positions. To get the result. And, that, and to get the result. And that's why Especially at the younger age group, competition should be minuscule, it should be little, it should be little, yeah. little every now and again during yeah. a planned phase in the season because it's important. Sure, sure. Kids yeah. always want to win, but it's Absolutely. important that they're put in the tournament, they're playing the best position, they have success in that position. As they get older, the tournament should increase. As they get to the train, you know, when they get past the training to train phase, into the training to win phase, yeah. well, you know, they're young men then, they're young women. Sure, at sure. that stage, that's when. They've got the favourite position, probably the second favourite position, which is where they play most successfully, and that is where they would play. As a young, as a youngster, back to as I mentioned previously when we talked about, you know, great players in the past and like the Ajax system of total football, yeah, yeah. where they play four, three, three, every single player rotates, yeah. and every player plays in a different position. You know, greats like Dennis Bergkamp, yeah, yeah. who have come out of that system and was fantastic for Arsenal and Arsenal and Wenger. Yeah. Greats like him played as left back, they played as right sure, back, played sure. as centre back. And that allowed great strikers then to understand what it's what a defender's doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poacher turned gamekeeper. Yeah, you yeah. know that's and that, for me it's it's simple. It's not rocket science. Yeah. But people get too they get too um, they feel it, it, the coach is important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Winning's important. Yeah, yeah. It's not the young players. It's about developing the players. If you develop the players correctly, yeah. they'll win in the future. Yeah. I have no fear in that. They'll win. Yeah.